Hi, I'm Silvia Mas. I'm a Spanish sailor for 470. And we are here in Arus uh, trying to fight for the spots for the Olympics 2020. Three, there are three teams of the 470 Spanish teams. We are, uh, we are always working as a team during the whole year and in the regattas. Well, it's true that normally we, we got in front of them, but uh, they are also quite good. Uh, there is one team always in the top 10 also. The first goal uh, is to qualify Spain for the Olympics. And for sure, well, it's, it's a very hard event, this one. Everyone is here, all the good sailors. So if we are in the top eight, top five, we'll be uh, super good. We have to see, it's a very hard regatta, very hard week. I've been sailing for 70s, like uh, for three, four years. I was sailing for 20s till 2014. And uh, so I started 470s more or less in 2015. And Patricia is uh, 28 years old and I'm 21. So that's why she was already sailing in 470 before. Uh, we have been sailing together for one year and a half. And um, well, she's quite uh, exper experienced because she was uh, sailing in 470 in the last campaign for Rio as a crew also. And so, well, now we are trying to progress in our teamwork and continue like this till whatever we finish. The difference of age is quite big, but the thing is that uh, I think all sailors were kind of the same. You don't care about what age you have. Well, we came together like pretty good as a team since the first time. The biggest change from the 420 to the 470, apart from the characteristics of the boat that you have quite more things to play with in the 470, for me it's about the sailors, like um, the, I, the helms, and the crews, I, they are super very experienced sailors, super really good, and it's super hard to compete against them. Um, they have a very high level, so I think uh, apart from the changes that the boat has, for me this is the hardest thing to compete against the very good sailors. I'm not looking to be in the top fast, but I, I just want to do my, my work, my, what I like, what I have to do and learn from the others and try to get everything that I can from the best sailors. My coach is Gustavo Martinez, he's a Spanish sailor that used to sail in 470s before and now he's working also in the big boats. And he's a very good, uh, he loves to study the sails, the shapes. He's also working uh, like with sail makers. And for real, he spends uh, a lot of hours every day. Even if I can be on the water uh, learning uh, tactics or something, we will always have, a, even if it's a little percentage of the time of trying speed test. And then uh, he's every day with the computer uh, trying new formulas, new things, how to make better, even how to design sales, how to change them. And then uh, about all the work that he does in, after sailing, he show us, uh, he, he can show us everything because it's, he really works a lot. I like the 470 because I think it's so complicated, so difficult to understand how all the sittings goes, how to make the boat fast. There is a mix of, of tactical, technical things, uh, strategical things. There, it's so difficult that I feel it's so hard, so uh, physical and also uh, mental that I think that's why I, I like the 470, because it's complicated. I don't really know a lot about the boats. Like, I had quite a very short life experience in this, in this kind of, because I was getting the boats from other people before, so I wasn't able to change anything. 
And now that I had my first boat, uh, I just uh, was talking with Sebastian Siegelmeier and he was telling me about what he thinks is better, how to feed, uh, to rig the boat, uh, his way and everything. So because it's my first boat, uh, I just keep following her uh, advertisements. And since now that I'm exper experimenting new kind of things, uh, so it's when I start building how to how I want the next boat, how to rig it, and all the boat is uh, full fitted with Harken, and um, like well everything works perfectly. Uh, it's very has a high durability, and it uh, runs super good.